we are in Tartu and today I would like to cross the line between the physical and non-material world. A big part of our everyday life depends on our environment inside the cities and beyond. How do you feel about the safety in your neighborhood on your way home in the late evening? Where would you like to have a hiking trip next weekend? Which cafes have the best summer terraces? How many tourists visit beautiful Estonian wetlands and forests from month to month? These questions are important not just for general statistics. Society needs responses to these questions because they help understand life problems in cities and provide evidence of people's behavior in a rapidly changing environment. This knowledge is useful for wise city management and the protection of important natural sites. While the most common way to get such information is to conduct some sociological survey and ask people about their preferences and values, it's efficient only within a limited territory and highly depends on subjective responses. Moreover, surveying is rather intrusive and labor-consuming. In our digital world, researchers more and more benefit from the analysis of our digital footprint. All kinds of media files, including photographs, video and text, posted online by millions of social media users in public access. These media files in Twitter, Flickr, Contacte often have geographic coordinates. If one takes a photo with GPS enabled on his or her smartphone or indicates the location manually, like in Instagram or Facebook. Based on the number of photographs, videos and texts posted in particular places, it's possible to study their popularity. Photographs usually show something interesting and important for people. People first choose the place to come, then select where to take the photograph, and only some photographs are finally shared. For example, let's see the density of Flickr photographs taken during the last 10 years in Estonia. Tallinn is the most popular city. Its historical center is always photographed regardless of year or season. However, taking photographs in remote parts of Tallinn and its surroundings strongly depends on summer. The same applies to Tartu, the second popular city. This map marks the most popular and important green zones, parts of rivers and lakes, the Baltic Sea shoreline for Estonians and guests of Estonia. The countrywide mapping of Estonia is not very surprising, but getting closer to each city, we may get even more interesting results. Using a computer vision, we selected only those photographs that show outdoor city views without people, under daylight and nighttime conditions. It appears that the Anne Canal, some parts of Emayoga River are very popular and people are glad to see these places in the evening. In contrast, the very touristic Tom Hill is much more popular in daylight, so this finding raises the question of why this happens. We may guess it's due to safety reasons or because it's more isolated from the main transport roads. In this way, we proceed from very general understanding of the popularity of the places to more complex and specific research questions that would not be otherwise raised. This non-material world of digital data is very useful for measuring our well-being and managing the quality of outdoor environment to preserve it for the future generations.